Well, my name is Hannah, I come from the Open Society Foundation Prague, which is uh, traditionally viewed as someone who has the money and who doesn't, doesn't have to do any fundraising. But with the changing po policy of uh, Open Society Foundations, in New York, uh, there are going to be changes in financing these uh, our offices in Eastern Europe, which means we have to prepare ourselves for different situations and we have to prepare methods to fundraise in our regions. And we started recently with our watchdog part program, which we ran for 12 years. It was called a Transparency and Accountability Program, supporting the local watchdog funds. Project organizations and uh, we just uh, continue what we did before, but now we created a new ethnicity which is called the, Ota uh, the Otakar Motel Fund, which is like separate fund, fund called by uh, the person who is right now in Czech Republic. He was the first uh, ombudsman and lawyer who who was very active before uh, the revolution and like his moral credit is already very high so that we why we chose his name and we start to collect money in Czech Republic to su support the watch watchdog activities. So Corruptor is uh, in fact our biggest activity <coughs> right now uh, <coughs> from Czech Republic well know what it's about uh, but I'll probably ask her uh, what do you know it's connected with some NGO or with some I had no clue or that you think it's business you. <laughs> no I didn't think it's business but I didn't connect it with all stuff it's okay. good it's really good I consulted it so. <laughs> you consulted it so you know. <laughs> yeah because uh, in fact I started in, uh, in the Open Society Foundation like uh, yeah less than a year ago and before I was working in the newspaper, and I uh, and when I was working in the newspaper, uh, I just the it was the time when corrupt tour just started, and I didn't understand why all the journalists want to write about corrupt tour, which, which is just private business. The idea is just travel agency doing their business, uh, was it in the corrupt? sites let's say like places where like the the, the, the richest people from Chicago these these corrupt people build their villas and uh, and they just take the minibus minivan bring people there and tell them the stories about these people and about connections to politics and they just make a real business so I didn't understand why should we all make the advertisement to this to this company it's just business and then I changed my job I came to Open Society Foundation and I realized Oh, it's not a business. It, it, it's kind of like activism, but it all the time it has the, the from the very beginning. It in fact it started as the art project, but but very soon we are, my colleagues realized there is a big potential. There's a potential because it from the very beginning as an art project it was the. It was the travel agency, corrupt tour, everything was as it is. As I'll show you on, on, the, on the slides later. They realized there's a potential to, uh, to, <coughs> uh, uh, to make public aware of this problem, to start talking about this problem, and also then to collect money to change the situation. So that's how corrupt tour started a year ago. And now I'll show you how it went through the time and where it is now. So all these quotations, like it's just, yeah, I'll just go for quickly through the slides with quotations because uh, they they belong to the story, but the story is very <coughs> much based on the person who does it. He is a actor and he studied theater. So all the thing is like playing with the audience. So that's like creating some reality which is connected with the real reality, but that's something in between. So if you talk with this man about the whole project, you part you are partly lost. In some you partly understand him and sometimes you don't because he's just explaining the theater story <coughs> to you. So <coughs> but it works. Because what point here? 
Yeah, because uh, this is where the connection is. So you need yeah, okay. Mm -hmm. uh, as you will see later, the media and the, the public really uh, follow the story. So th this explains something similar what Diana mentioned, that uh, it's difficult to explain people like something heavy, heavy topic, so they feel good and they will want to take part in it. So this funny picture just shows that the corruption tries to uh, raise good mood through corruption, because they know that corruption is usually connected with bad mood, and they deal it in such a way that it, it brings good mood to people. So this is just their funny. Presentation, and I'll yeah I'll go quickly through that. So that's what they what was at the beginning. There's a business politics and corruption, and we just want to change the the general point of view in that. Yeah. That's the usual way how business reach the, the top of corruption, but. Yeah, political parties. But then we'll change it. And yeah, we'll have the business at the very top. <coughs> so this is the idea of corrupt tool. <laughs> I'll yeah, I'll do it quickly as it's probably not a <laughs> <laughs> And it's also part of all the thing, the, the visual style. It's very professional and it it helped to yeah, to make people believe it's a real business, which it is. <laughs> This was the beginning of the pre presentation to, of the idea to the public last, oh, this was this year, but February, on the holiday board, uh, where they presented this business to the public and they were, yeah, they had to explain it to all the people who were, this man is someone who's very important, like the leader of the, of the uh, travel business in Czech Republic, and, they don't know, should we believe it or not, is it true or is it fake or what? But the result of this week was the first bus sold. So, and it started. So people were buying these trips with Corrupture and they, and the people from Corrupture took them to, to these places where <coughs> Or in, yeah, people. For, yeah, sometimes it's politics. Sometimes it's like these business people, lobbyists, where they live, and they explain in the story how yeah, which are known from the newspaper, but usually people just read it once and then forget. Uh, and then the media reacted very quickly, and they just that's what I okay, what I told you, they just started to write about it, and not only the Czech media, but this is the Czech television but also <coughs> the international media. It was, uh, you can find articles about corruption everywhere. That is a really... This is just where they go, where they bring people, that's how it looks. <laughs> And all of them who are doing the business are actors. So you really feel like some side specific theater. It's, it's just perfect. It's really fun. It's also these, these are the, yeah, here you can see the people who just joined the <laughs> tour. They are very different. They are Czech people, but also very often foreigners. And yeah. Very important moment when what was when the Wall Street Journal wrote an article about corrupt tour, and sometimes to the Czech media the information went through the international media. It was fun.
and then it just went on and on. And where we are now, it's yeah, that, that's here. Now, uh, in sept this September, we publicly said that we are connected with the activity of Corruptor, and the Corruptor changed into Corruptor Incorporated, which meant that they that uh, they bought the ready-made uh, <coughs> company and started to sell uh, shareholders, uh, like share how you call it shareholders? Shares. Shares. Yeah, yeah shares. sorry, shares. Uh, and uh, in fact, that that's the the answer to why we call it a uh, fundraising activity. Because uh, at the end, uh, what, once it was, was changed into <coughs> this company, uh, we now really sell or they really sell the shares to the public, to companies, to whomever, and that we use <coughs> like the one very the, the anonymous anonymous uh, share or so this, this is a thing which is used in Czech Republic for exactly the co corrupt corruption practices <coughs> like the, the, the company you, you can't really see who is the owner of the company mm -hmm. so this is the the thing we use so, so now there's another part of the story where yeah where people who decide to buy the shirt are uh, connect uh, are contacted by the people from Corruptor, and again, the, just to get the share is another like uh, adventure itself because they'll uh, tell you like to come to some special place, like you meet with the people in front of the villa of uh, an important lobbyist. And you secretly get your <laughs> share. <laughs> so, so this is like playing with the with the public, and again everything is really nice. Yeah, with the nice design. And yeah, sorry, because yeah, I'll stop here. But and uh, the until we are just at the beginning. But until now, we just we gave twice twenty thousand dollars U.S. dollars to to these people to corrupt your and uh, from the sell, yeah, from the from the selling of the shares, we could get get now. I think the half, if all of it, will be uh, sold. But the other thing is that it create it's it brings money itself for for the purpose. So one thing is what we'll get from the from selling the shares. But another thing is that in between all these buses full of people who and all these articles written. Like are changing the 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 in reality in Czech Republic or the, or the awareness of, of the public, and there was already like twenty thousand dollars, which like the people like the, the individuals who came for for the trip all together paid to that business, which in fact just are used just for guides and for bus and for all. There are, it's not the, like profit for the people who do it. But in fact, it's money which are extra brought to this activity. So it's kind of fundraising, and we'll see what it brings later. Fun. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah.